from Buzz, everyone. I'm your host, Sarah, and I'm thrilled to talk with Dona Papp today. And Dona, how are you? I'm good. Thanks, Sarah. Yes, Thanks. we're so, so glad you have me here today. Yes, we're glad to have you. And Dona is involved in a Facebook page that she runs called I Hate Litter. And we're going to be talking all about litter today. So first of all, how did you get into this? How did you get involved? So I've always hated litter. I mean, litter's ugly, right? It is. Um, so I, um, you know, always on walks would pick up litter. And I became really um, involved with it uh, several years back. Um, my husband and I, we were in Costa Rica diving. Mm -hmm. We were at this beautiful, um, nationally protected marine park, and we were diving. We were probably 50 feet underwater. Okay. We were surrounded by all kinds of beautiful sea life, turtles and sharks and fish and manta rays. Wow. And what did I see? A plastic bag. Yeah. So... It made me really realize the impact of mm -hmm. litter. Um, you know, not only what we can see, but what we can't see. Oh yeah. And I just really started paying attention and educating myself about um, the impact on the environment from litter. And it, it's pretty significant. I mean, water is important to life. Yeah. And if there's litter in your water, um, which 60% of uh, pollution in water is from litter. Oh my gosh. And you know, litter like a plastic bag or a styrofoam cup, that breaks down into microplastics. And that gets in the water we drink. Mm -hmm. And it's very dangerous. Absolutely. My, microplastics contain neurotoxins and carcinogens and thyroid disruptors. So we need to really um, become conscious of the impact of litter. Okay. So why, why do people litter? Why do you think that it's a common thing um, for someone to litter? Yeah. I think um, there are a lot of reasons. Number one is lack of education. Mm -hmm. People aren't aware of the environmental impact of litter. Yeah. Um, two, I think there's carelessness mm -hmm. and laziness. Sure. And I'll add selfishness. <laughs> um, three, there might be like lack of trash receptacles or trash cans okay. in a person's area. Mm -hmm. um, and then also people tend to litter where there's already litter present. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. So they see a bunch of litter and they're like, eh, what's one more can? Right. You know, like it doesn't matter. Right. So we need to care about it. Um, yeah. it's really important. I think it's really important that you brought up education too, because with any issue that we're addressing, that's mm -hmm. the first step, actually knowing that it's a problem mm -hmm. and learning about it and then moving forward and addressing it. And so what are some ways that we can help to start addressing this. Maybe it just feels overwhelming, like, oh my gosh, there's so much litter on the planet, which is true, but we all need to do our part right, to help it. Right. And so what are some ways we can address right. it? Um, there's lots of things we can do, really. And, and it's funny that you say that it's overwhelming because that's why I started the Facebook page, mm -hmm. I Hate Litter. You know, I realize that I'm one person and I can only make a small impact. But if I pick up litter and I encourage my friend to pick up litter and she encourages her friend to pick mm -hmm. up litter, then we're making a much bigger yeah. impact. So, you know, spreading the word, you know, encouraging others to pick up litter and also going out and just teaching people about litter. I mean, I can imagine that not many people realize that styrofoam cup breaks down into microplastics, right. which gets into our drinking water. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, picking up litter, educating, um, you can do what we do. You know, we will put out a, a quick alert out on Facebook okay. or on Instagram. Hey, tomorrow morning we're getting together at 10 to pick up the litter at the Route 8 on-ramp at East Cuyahoga Falls Avenue. Come out and join us if you've got an hour or two to spare. I mean, it doesn't have to be a huge organization. Uh, 
organized event. Right. It could be something small. It could be something like, um, you know, getting a scout troop to do a litter cleanup, but make it fun. Yeah. Make it into a scavenger hunt. <laughs> How yeah. many pieces can you find? Count while you pick it right. up and um, the winner gets the, a piece of candy. Right. <laughs> right. The person <laughs> with the most unusual find wins, wins an award or yeah. something. Yeah, sure. So, um, and, and just getting out and walking. Right now, it's beautiful. It We've all been cooped up in our house for a long time, especially with the pandemic. Um, and we are so fortunate that we live here in Northeast mm -hmm. Ohio and we're surrounded by beautiful parks, the Metro Parks and Cuyahoga Valley National Park. We're blessed. So go out, take a walk mm -hmm. and take a bag with you. And on that same note, you know, taking a bag with you, keeping one in your car. Yeah. You know, absolutely. if you're um, one to go through the drive through at the fast food restaurants, you know, keep that bag in your car and put your trash in there. Mm -hmm. And once you get home, throw it away. Right. Um, if you're a smoker, you know, maybe keep um, an empty beverage container in your car and put your cigarette butts right. in the container and take it home. Um, cigarette butts are a, a huge litter problem. Right, sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So I think that's so important because there are very small things that we can do. Yes. Um, it doesn't have to be, like I said, this overwhelming thing. And if we all take these small steps, keeping a bag in our car, mm -hmm. um, making sure we're not throwing anything on the ground. If we have kids, making sure that we're teaching them to mm -hmm. pick up their litter and not throw things on the ground. Cause it's just so important to make sure we're passing on this information to others. And like you said, that educational aspect. And so on that note, um, you had talked about getting groups together and encouraging groups mm -hmm. to do a litter cleanup. Mm -hmm. You are organizing one in celebration of earth day on yes. Saturday, April 17th at 10 AM. And mm -hmm. um, we're going to put all that information up. This is for Akron's North Hill area. Yes. But we want to encourage other people to put together their own mm -hmm. litter cleanup for Earth Day. I know we had talked about that. So go ahead and, yeah. and kind of put out that encouragement for others to do that as well. Yeah. So um, if there are people out there that are wanting to clean up their neighborhood, you know, maybe just um, get the word out on social media, mm -hmm. like I talked about earlier, you know, just say, hey, um, um, we're going to do a litter cleanup in Goodyear Heights this yep. weekend, you know, anyone willing to help come over and meet at so-and-so park at a park whatever or time. wherever, yep. right. It's very easy to organize a litter cleanup. You know, we're, we've made flyers and are passing those out. Hopefully that will get the word out, but social media is just as effective. Absolutely. That's great. And if you want to come participate in your litter cleanup as well, um, people can come and participate in that and we'll yes, put that info up for do. you. We need all the help we can get. Yes. That's for <laughs> sure. Um, scout troops, um, sports teams, uh, kids of any age, parents, grandparents, make it a family event. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I know you mentioned businesses, maybe taking a lunch hour once in a while um, yes. to go out. Not that we don't want them to eat their lunch too. Right, <laughs> right. But it would be nice if all the businesses around town, you know, maybe allotted their employees an hour to four Earth Day just mm -hmm. to go out and pick up the litter just around their business. Yeah. That would be incredible. That would make a huge impact. So yeah, fantastic. Such good ideas. And I want you to give us a few ideas of other ways that we can be green and um, just try to help out the environment a mm -hmm. little bit more. Yeah. So part of the problem with litter is one-time use mm -hmm. items and in particular plastics because a lot of plastics are not um, recyclable. Um, they're not earth friendly. Right. So if possible, you know, cut back on the items that you purchase that are made of or wrapped in or packaged in those plastics. Mm -hmm. um, use uh, the reusable shopping bags rather than getting those um, chintzy plastic bags right, at right. the grocery store. I mean, I think everyone knows that those things are 
a mess. Yeah. You see them flying in the trees along the highways. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if we can just cut out the plastic bags, that would be great. Um, I know you had mentioned even just making sure that, that people are recycling and using their yeah. recycling services that yeah. they have and, um, you know, making sure that we are recycling when we can and not throwing those things in the trash. Or repurposing, mm -hmm. repurposing, you know. Exactly. Um, I know our recycling program is very limited here in Akron, um, but there are other places um, that you can recycle. There mm -hmm. are other ways that you can repurpose items. So, you know, be creative. Exactly. Too. And yeah, I know they got rid of recycling glass, but a lot mm -hmm. of people um, will reuse those glass bottles. So um, I like, I have a free group on Facebook and I'll even see sometimes people post on there, hey, I have a bunch of glass wine bottles. Does anyone want to craft with them? Right. So even things like that, where we can reuse things that maybe we would normally just throw in the trash. Yeah, I know that this year some teachers in Akron mm -hmm. actually um, used the caps from plastic drink bottles um, for something in their classroom. So I happened to <laughs> save those in a bag and was able to donate those to a teacher. Yeah. I think they made magnets out of them for counting purposes. Oh, I'm cool. not sure. Yeah, my daughter's school actually collected mm -hmm. them and then they actually made a bench out of oh. all of the, the bottle tops. So that yeah. was that was really cool as well. So I wanna make sure that we direct people to your Facebook page mm -hmm. and any other way that they can contact you. Okay, so my Facebook page is I Hate Litter um, and anyone can join. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, and then if you'd like to contact um, me and my group of guy and gals that <laughs> yes. are working on our North Hill cleanup, um, you can email us at IHateLitter443 at gmail.com. Perfect. That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah, this was great. And I really hope that people take this seriously I and so um, start doing something. It can be small. Yes. Take a bag on your walk this week and um, just do one thing and then go from there and add some more things in as well. That's so, right, just yeah. take a walk. <laughs> yes, take a walk, take a walk with a bag. Thank, Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. We had a great time here on Akron Buzz. We hope that you'll subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and check us out on our brand new Roku channel. Bye everyone.